guys, today we are talking about some common slow cooker issues and how to fix them all while having a whole lot of fun. Hey guys, welcome back to my camper kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesThatCrock.com and today we are going to do something a little bit different. We are going to talk about some common slow cooker issues that you might be having in your kitchen depending on what slow cookers you're using and what recipes you're using and I thought we would walk through a few solutions that might help you be more successful with your slow cooking. I wrote a blog post on our website several years ago called How to Fix Common Slow Cooker Issues and it's one of those posts that I hear from readers all the time that they find it to be really really helpful so I thought I'd create a video to kind of go along with that so that the crock posse could get some of those tips as well and maybe we could have a conversation down below about any other issues you, issues you guys are running into so that maybe we could do uh, some more um, solutions for you guys because I don't know if y'all know this or not but we cook with slow cookers around here a whole lot and we have all kinds of different kinds of slow cookers so we kind of run into a lot of the common problems that you guys might run into as well so in that article I talk about three major issues and how to maybe do some problem solving around it and the first one is if you're coming home to your food always being overcooked it may be that your slow cooker is cooking too hot for too long and so one of the reasons for this is slow cooker recipes have been around for years and years and years and in the process of that happening uh, all those years there have been changes in the slow cooker um, products that are available to pe for people to buy and so if you have an old tried and true slow cooker from many many years ago it's going to cook a lot differently than your more modern slow cookers so what a lot of people tend to do whenever they replace their old tried and true because it's lived its life is they're a little shocked at how hot newer slow cookers cook so when i say hot i mean low on an old slow cooker doesn't cook the same as low on a new slow cooker and to complicate things even further different slow cookers cook differently no matter what different manufacturers different units sometimes it's just it it's really getting to know the individual slow cooker that you're using and so um, one of the tips that we give people because you never know when you're looking at a slow cooker recipe whether or not it was crafted to an old slow cooker or a new slow cooker or any of those things the first and foremost thing that we tell people all the time is that you have to first test a recipe that's new to you in your slow cooker and keep an eye on it the first time so that I know isn't always convenient but it typically leads to more success but if you are finding that your particular slow cooker is always cooking a lot hotter or a overcooking your food given the time parameters that the recipes that you love are asking you to do then one of the tricks that you can try is to cook on what what we tend to do is we take the old-fashioned high cooking times so a lot of times they'll give a low cooking time and a high cooking time we take that cooking time but in newer slow cookers, we typically cook it on low, but use the high cooking time. I know that sounds a little confusing, but that is just one way to kind of, kind of trick the system into uh, not overcooking your food. So for example, what you would want to do is try cooking your recipe for a less amount of time in your slow cooker and that's for a couple reasons it's it's because the units cook hotter now and it's also because of pot size which we will talk about here in a little bit so um another thing that happens that we hear from people particularly if you're trying a lot of breakfast recipes like egg casseroles and those kinds of things or especially if you're cooking up cakes or you're cooking um anything that kind of has to set up sometimes what will happen is 
your recipe will get done along one side or in one particular area more than another. And what you would want to do is you can do just like you do in your oven when you're baking a cake and it's baking unevenly. You can just lift that up and turn it around halfway through cooking and that helps make for a more even, even cooking experience. So that's one kind of trick if you tend to have a hot spot in your slow cooker. Again, that's going to depend on different slow cookers and how your particular unit works. But thirdly, the big thing that we hear from a lot of people is this, my, my stuff's overcooking, and I think part of that is coming from a lot of the traditional slow cookers that you find and the multi-cookers. Most of the slow cookers on the market today are a lot larger than their older counterparts. I'm not saying you couldn't have got a big one back then. I'm just saying most people have a six quart slow cooker. If you have a four quart, that's great. But I'm talking about the six quarts right now. So if you put a recipe that was originally designed for a four quart recipe into a six quart, it's going to cook a lot faster than it would if it were in a four quart slow cooker. It's much like, again, baking a cake. So it lets, or let's use brownies for example, because people do this with brownies all the time. If you pour brownies into a jelly roll pan and you pour that same batter into a cake, a small eight by eight cake pan, the eight by eight cake pan is going to take a lot longer to cook that same amount of food as the jelly roll pan where it's spread all out. The same thing applies with your crock pot. So if you have a four quart or even a two or three quart and you're filling it all the way up, it's going to take longer to cook than if you spread that same amount of food out over across a six quart slow cooker. So one of the ways that we get around this is we can um, make the cooking vessel inside of your slow cooker a little bit smaller so that you're not fighting that the whole time. Because the goal is always to fill your slow cooker two thirds of the way full. Two thirds is how it cooks ultimately the best. However, you can get away with halfway full. If it's less than half, you're going to have to keep a really close eye on it so you don't overcook it because it's not really designed to do it that way. Okay, so one of the ways we get around that is we find oven safe bowls or pans. So you could use like a bread pan inside of your oval slow cookers or I usually at home I have a round pan, a round bowl that I'll typically put down into my slow cooker. And you can just put that down into your slow cooker and put the food inside of this bowl and this makes your cooking vessel smaller. So if you're using a two quart recipe in your six quart slow cooker, if you put it inside this bowl first and put the bowl down into the slow cooker, then all you gotta do is add just a little bit of water around that pan. Now you don't want your water to go more than halfway up the inside of your bowl, okay? So we don't want it to go more than halfway up whatever bowl you have inside. Because if you do it more than halfway up and that water starts to boil, it might boil over into your food and you don't want that water in your food. So this is just kind of making a safe little cooking vessel that lets you cook in a bigger slow cooker but cook smaller portions. Those are just a handful of the tips that I think might help make your slow cooking experience a little bit um, more successful. If you seem to keep running into overcooked or burnt food, this is one, these are three things that I think you could try to maybe kind of reduce that for you guys. One other thing, I oftentimes get the question because we use two terms interchangeably, both on the channel and on the website. When we say crock pot, we are referring to slow cookers. There is a crock pot official brand, and that is a brand of slow cooker, a great brand of slow cooker, but people also use crock pot lowercase as a informal way to refer to slow cookers. So anytime on our site 
that you see a crock pot recipe. It can be made in any kind of slow cooker. So I hope this has been helpful. If you guys like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe and become a member of our slow cooking family around here. Um, if you would like notified every time we upload a video, whether it be cooking tips, recipes, vlogs, or travel, click the bell down below. We call that the dingling down. Uh, we call that the dingling around here, and YouTube will notify you every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.